wonder if any of you are potty training right now. I can't decide if that's a really great idea or just a really horrible one. On the one hand, you don't have a lot of places to go, so you could think of it like learning how to knit or play the ukulele. Might as well teach someone to empty bladder and bowels. On the other hand, it's potty training, which is an exercise that can test a mother's will to live. I'm glad to report that no matter where you are in this process, you will one day boast of having children who use the restroom without any help. It is amazing, and this will be your life. Anna, Mitch, and Thea are all beasts when it comes to going to the bathroom. Really, they crush it. Even in times when we don't have to ration toilet paper. I will say we hit some bumps when one of us, who will remain unnamed, but who has a different chromosomal makeup than the girls, had to learn to aim. We floated Cheerios in the bowl and that seemed to help because there was a goal, a target. Sink the Cheerio and we will cheer. I'd say his overall record is not pristine. Mitch started out rough in this department from infancy, actually. When we first took him home from the hospital, Anna, who was exactly three years older, knelt down by the ottoman where we had laid him out and she was saying hi to her baby brother and I said, well, we need to change his diaper. So open the diaper, you know where I'm going here. And he peed in a perfect arc into his eyeball. And I mean, it was amazing. I don't even know how he did it. And Anna, who was three, began to weep and said, why is he doing that? As if he were intentionally ruining her life. The key is aiming well, and this crosses over beautifully into our non-potty lives. What are we aiming for? Even in a time of quarantine, we have to ask ourselves this question. What's the target during these days and weeks? Perfect children, clean house, Von Trapp family music time, and 12 hours of sleep a night? Or maybe something a little more realistic? Maybe extra time at the dinner table where we talk for real? Maybe a date with our husband each week over popcorn and M&Ms where we make each other laugh during a time that desperately needs laughter? Maybe the chance to write more letters, sing more songs, even cry more tears, all at a pace that is not so rushed. Maybe committing more of the Bible and its unparalleled comfort and truth to the tablets of our hearts. What is the end goal here? My guess is we all want to end up saying, we saw each other well and we loved each other well. My daughter Thea is an archer. Mark and I are not hunters, we are gatherers and cookie eaters. So I'm not sure where Thea got the archery ability, but she's pretty good. Good enough to make it to state. It was a delightful moment when all the archers filed in at the state tournament, most of them taller than Thea and more hunterish looking than Thea with her sparkly glasses and her high ponytail. They all walked in this year and they got to business. They lined up and they started shooting. And Thea did fine during her practice round, but things started to slip pretty quickly. And, that, and soon I could see her lips starting to quiver and her brow furrowing and the nerves getting a grip on her as she shot more and more poorly. I watched from the stands and I had to tamp down my motherly impulse to launch myself over the stands and blow a whistle and ask for a do-over, do people. And then something beautiful happened. The two high school boys on either side of her noticed that Thea was struggling and they leaned in. She sat between them, head bowed, tears falling down her face, and those two boys quietly, gently coached her back from the ledge. I watched from a distance as her shoulders gradually relaxed and round after round the shooting got steadier, arrows flew straighter, and those boys just kept talking with her. Of course, I was about to go into the ugly cry, which is not a typical response by Archer parents, but you know. Afterward, I cornered those boys who turned out to be brothers, Clayton and Cooper, brothers who blushed when I heaped on my gratitude and my compliments. I asked them, what did they say to Thea? And they both immediately said they got it. They knew what it felt like to have an off day, especially on a day they wanted to be on. They said the only thing to do is to keep your eye on the target and to try to breathe. Well, if that didn't preach to my heart, I don't know what would. Our aim is going to stink sometimes. 
Sometimes we will miss the target entirely. Sometimes at those archery tournaments, an arrow will go flying up into the basketball hoop and it clangs onto the floor and everyone giggles because we all know how it feels to totally miss it. Some days, just like Clayton and Cooper said, the only thing to do is to keep our eyes on the target and to try to breathe. I have prayed a lot of prayers for my kids and for my husband, for myself over the years, and probably the most comforting one is this. God, thank you that you promised me that you will complete the thing that you have started around here. You're the author of it all, and you promise you will be the one faithful to finish it all. It is not my job to complete the work you started in my heart or in anyone else's, including my kids. Sometimes the only and best thing to do is to keep our eyes on the target, on the author and the finisher of our faith and just keep breathing. Keep our hearts soft in his hands and then let him do the work. He will be the one to finish it. The bedrock of our faith is recognizing that when we are looking inside ourselves for enough courage, enough wisdom, enough strength, we will always, always come up short. It's when we look out and up to Jesus, it's then that we find what we need to move on and to become more of who we're meant to be. Let's just keep our eyes on the one who knows us and try to breathe. When all else fails, go to bed early because new mercies await us in the morning. Eyes on the author of it all today, girls. Deep breath. You are not the one who has to finish what he started. Unless you've started potty training, then you might have to finish that part. But he will finish the other stuff. He has you in his capable hands as you press on today. I am rooting for you and praying for you like crazy.